everybody. How's it going, everyone? Like we always do, we're going to let people filter in a little bit. It's been a while since we've seen you. A couple of days. Yeah, we see we definitely have some uh, repeat uh, viewers showing up. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Cheers, Bob. What's up, Margie? What's up, Louise? Welcome. Hazy Stone Brew. That sounds nice. delicious. We were talking about maybe doing a beer episode here coming up. That wouldn't be making things, but we could at least kind of tell you a little bit about different types of beers. Yeah, especially since you found those, uh, those craft brews that uh, one of our customers gave you for Christmas. Found those, so we thought maybe we can include that in an episode. Yeah, a friend of mine uh, gave me, he makes beer, and he gave me four different um, types that he had made, and they weren't quite ready yet when he gave them to me. Actually, I think he gave them to me for my birthday. Maybe it was Christmas. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and I never drank them because then we did dry February because he told me to hold off on drinking them right away. Um, and then we did dry February, so we weren't drinking, and then all this happened, so... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna taste some of those maybe on an episode. I thought that might be fun Yeah, and, and Allison's actually pretty knowledgeable when it comes to beers and all that uh, You said it's uh, kind of on the level of like a someone day. Yeah, a it's called the Cicerone I'm just a certified Cicerone server. I'm not a Cicerone because okay. I never finished my training But I did learn a lot and got very type A personality and made PowerPoints and everything So I learned a lot about beer um, and definitely broadened my uh, appreciation for different types of beer, uh, which was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, I think it was only like a hundred bucks to do like the initial uh, training course. We got time, right? So, you know, if you feel like it, go to, uh, I think it's Cicerone.com maybe, or maybe org, I don't know. Try it out, check it out. Yeah, um, you definitely know a little bit more about beer and, and the serving of beers and stuff like that than I do myself. Uh, I mean, I can drink them. But that's about it. I mean, I'm yeah, that's not, the most important part of that. Yeah, it, I'm not really that much of a beer snob per se. Yeah. So like, you know, there's a few different beers that I would prefer when I am drinking beer. But like, well, aside think, from that, you know, you would say I think they know we're not beer snobs since we've been drinking Coors Light. <laughs> true, true. That is a valid point. Just that is saying. a valid point. <laughs> Who was it that was like, can I do it with good beer? I think that was, was uh, Brian. that was Brian that said that. Yeah, can you do it with good beer? Drink when, whatever you what want. was it that we were making the uh, the Michelada for, yeah. our, for our brunch that we just had last Sunday? What's up, Ed? What's up, Nadine? Um, so we wanted to talk about our previous brunch. Um, it was a lot of fun. We made a lot of great drinks. Um, a lot of our customers actually participated and posted, you know, um, yeah, they did it some pretty cool. different th things that they made, um, and took pictures. It was fantastic. Your participation is everything. We love it. Yeah. I really liked it too. Last time when we were doing that brunch, we had a little conversation going on in the comments between a, a couple that were, I think they were probably in the same room on different, <laughs> uh, on their phones and everything. And one of them was asking us to, to coax him to make uh, her a Bloody Mary. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, the, the picture showed up later on in the, uh, in the comments uh, that he actually did make her one. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. That, was a, that was kind of a, Good job. a different uh, style of interaction that we enjoyed. Well, and especially since um, the girl, the girlfriend is a bartender. So it's always nice to have somebody else make you a drink when you're a bartender. So that was pretty sweet. We liked that a lot. It was actually on that same point. It was fun. We had a funny moment here at our house the other day because um, we have been teaching Andy how to bartend. He's been learning a lot while we're making these videos and everything. And I, I think it was last night or the night before Allison had asked Andy to make her a drink. <laughs> and it was like, you know, I make it for you all the time. Come on, make me a drink, Andy. And it was really playful and funny. And and so, so not only are we teaching you guys how to make these drinks and everything, but within our own household, like people are actually learning from yeah. this. Yeah, and it was really good too. He made us Moscow meals and they were delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so we've also been tagged in some great memes that one of our friends, uh, a fellow bartender, uh, works at a different bar. She tagged us in a post and a meme that said, uh, bars are closed, hope you all know what's in that stupid fruity drink you're always asking bartenders to make, which... Of course, we were dying laughing about, and we're, we love that too. So if you guys just want to, you know, tag us in some memes, that would be great too. Yeah, that also kind of gave us a little bit of an idea, idea for like inspired future episodes that we're going to be doing with board bartenders <laughs> where we could do an episode that is literally called Stupid Fruity Drinks. <laughs> and there's so many of them. I, 
I mean, that could be like a three hour episode. So we'll have to pick a few <laughs> favorites and cut it down a little. It could be an entire season, really. It really <laughs> could. It really, really could. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Eric just, Erica just told us to, you know, go ahead and make some shots. Let's do some yeah, shots. Yeah, let's do some shots. So we're going to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting off with a drink that, again, there's a lot of different variations of these. You know, people might have learned them, um, how to make them slightly different. And, and, and what we're working with what we have here. So what I'm going to be making is an orange Tic Tac shot. And in that shot, there are different variations. Like I said, you could use a flavored orange vodka. But what I'm going to do is use fresh squeeze oranges in it. It's a lot better. And this is actually <laughs> this is actually something that I drink myself uh, as a mixed shot when I when I'm uh, you know hanging out at the bar having a few while one of my friends are working or anything like that. So this is one of my personal favorites. So we're going to start off getting some ice in a glass here. <laughs> and I'm going to do it you. one by one. Down. That's awesome. And then we will be using obviously vodka with this shot and also fresh squeeze oranges and a little bit of Red Bull, okay? So what I like to do is start off with the oranges here, start squeezing them into the glass. And when you're done squeezing the oranges in the glass, you can just go ahead and throw it right in there because we're gonna shake squeeze it up. Squeeze those oranges. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna shake it up with the drink here. So I like to use two oranges if they're not super juicy. These ones are a little bit smaller, so that's why I'm using two of them. But again, it is a preference thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour the vodka right on top of that. I forgot, I'm gonna use my little jigger here so that I can actually, you know, see what I'm doing. Margie says, hi, Andy. Hi, Pam Margie. says, hi, hi, Pam. Hi, Brian. <clears throat> Erica said stupid. Louise said hi. A lot of people have been saying hi. Uh -huh. So what we're going to actually shake with this is just the orange ice and the vodka. Okay? So we'll put this on top and give it a good shake. <laughs> Let the rest uh, remnants kind of strain there into the shaker. And you go ahead and pour this in your rocks glass. We have these little little handy, nifty uh, mini mason jars. Yeah, we didn't have any proper uh, little rocks glasses for these types of shots. So we're working with what we got. And that's something to do every episode. We want to remind you guys that you can always uh, private message us and take a picture of your cover and show us what you got. And we can always, you know, come up with a little something based on what you have. Yeah, we can help you guys get creative in your own kitchen and making your own drinks with the things that you have in there. Hey, hey. So now that I've strained it all into the glass, I'm just gonna give a little bit of Red Bull on the top there. Not too much. Just a little sploosh. And that is my version of an orange Tic Tac shot. Good? Uh, yes, it is good. Those are really good oranges. They're quite I hadn't, tasty. I hadn't had one of those yet and they're delicious. Mm, yeah, that's good. As I mentioned before, you could do this with like an orange vodka in place of the fresh oranges if you don't have those. Um, you could even use peach vodka, anything else, and, and make your own variation of that. I mean, they yeah. even have like mint Tic Tacs as shots and stuff. I've never made one myself or had anybody order it, but you know, there's a mm. lot of different variations. Rumblemans makes like me that. nervous. Yeah, Rumblemans. <laughs> It's like a, a mind eraser. Yeah, I think I'm going to tell them about episode seven. Okay. What we're calling episode 007. Um, we are going to do some fancy drinks, and we would like to encourage you guys to get together with your quarantine and get fancy. Put on your cocktail dress, put on a shirt and a tie, do your makeup, do your hair, sit down together and have a fancy cocktail with us. We're going to get dressy. We hope you guys do too. We're going to make a Vesper and a proper old fashioned, and we're really excited about it. You know, just because we're stuck at home doesn't mean that we can't be silly and can't be fun. And you know, I know it's not the same as going out and getting fancy, but we can at least, you know, do it together and share pictures. And yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I mean, I can't tell you about how many times I've gone to like a friend's wedding or, or any other occasion where I actually have to dress up since we don't have to do that at our job. We work at a dive yeah, bar. This is pretty much what I wear. Yeah. So every time I do that, you know, I mean, 
call me vain, but I might look at myself in the mirror like, man, you don't do this. You should, you should dress up a little bit more often. <laughs> so being able to do that with some classy cocktails, I think we're going to have some fun. Again, post those pictures if you guys are participating with us. Otherwise, you can just be entertained by us. Andy looks pretty hot in a suit. I'm just going to put that out there. So definitely tune in on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing next? We're doing the... Oh, uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna next. We're gonna make. Oh yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to keep this, uh, uh, con, you know, quick and uh, sweet. Our friend Denise oh, yeah. uh, posted the most hilarious video of her making a Bloody Mary. Seriously, still laughing about it, and keeps asking us to make one of her favorite drinks, which has several names, but I like to call it a pink taco. So we are going to honor her wishes uh, for being so wonderful and supporting us, and we are going to make a pink taco. And you know, I had a really good idea about that. I think that uh, the pink taco, it's simple enough, even though there's a lot of the different ingredients that go into it, that I think we should, uh, we should let Andy handle that one. Yeah, and Andy, you wanna handle the pink taco? Sure. Andy's gonna handle Oof. the pink taco. You wanna walk him through it? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay. Come on over here, Andy. Hi, guys. All right, I'm gonna try this out. I've been practicing, <laughs> teaching me. So let's see how it goes. Denise, this shot is for you. <laughs> All right, so like I said before, there's very simple ingredients going into this one. We're gonna be using amaretto, we're gonna be using peach tree, and we're gonna be using raspberry vodka. And then around the shot glass that's in the center of this, we're gonna be pouring Red Bull. So it's Here, very I'm gonna, similar I'm to bring it a little bottle. closer so people can see. So we've got the large glass, and then we've got the shot glass inside. And he's going to pour the Red Bull up to the lip of the shot glass. That was probably really loud. Sorry, guys. I forget how loud I am. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to put the Red Bull around the shot glass. And you want to fill the Red Bull pretty much up to the top rim of the shot glass. Right about there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do equal parts of raspberry vodka and peach tree. So I do a two count of each. One, two. One, two. And then just a dash of the amaretto. And you're just flowing that in top of the top yep. glass, right? Yep. Okay. Just a dash. And there you have your pink taco. And when you drink it, tell them the trick. Oh, so when you drink it, you have to put your finger inside to hold the shot glass down or it's or it's just gonna go everywhere and that shot glass is probably gonna chip your front teeth <laughs> not a good thing i did that when i was in sixth grade so i try to avoid that at all costs you were just eating pink tacos <laughs> oh my. this is not a kid friendly show and, and the, Andy points out a really valid point too. I can't tell you when it hasn't been such a relevant thing lately, but Jaeger bombs oh, are really, really, really <laughs> they, they usually that was so are. Tasty. Mm -hmm. They usually are. They usually are. Yes. Those are wow. one of those drinks that go down really smoothly. So you have to be careful because they will sneak up on you. But like I was saying before, is you know a few years back, Jaeger was like the drink that everybody was doing, and Jaeger bombs. I can't tell you how many of those I made in a night at Mabel's. We would be making sixty shots per like one tab with like four people. It was retarded. <laughs> and how many times I saw people just throw those things back like they're regular shots and forget that was in there and just bash themselves in the face. <laughs> I mean, it is nice to have a little comedic breakup when we're, when we are working and hustling behind the bar and everything. But I've also felt their pain as well. So, well, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed my version of a pink taco. Allison? Yes. That, Back to that, you. You know what? That's a good segue, Andy, because we also would like to remind you guys that there are a lot of different ways to make a lot of different drinks. Um, you know, there's a lot of different recipes. However, the kamikaze is not one of them. I've actually had this argument with a few people. Kamikaze, there's one recipe. One recipe. I mean, people call kamikazes other things, but they're, it's a super simple, simple drink, and honestly, this is probably the biggest seller um, for the bar that I work for, Mabel's Roadhouse. This is our biggest seller, kamikaze. It's super simple. Especially during the daytime, right? Oh my a lot, lot of people drink kamikazes a they lot love it. during the daytime. They love it. Well, it's, it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit sour, and you know, it's just kind of refreshing. So, and we live in Southern California, and it's hot. So it's a nice, refreshing Southern California drink. Um, I'm not gonna be as patient as Matt. I'm just gonna dump it all in here instead of doing the cube by cube. Oh. I think I'm good. 
Um, <clears throat> so I like to put about this much ice in it. Andy, let me know if they can see it. Can they see uh, it inside the shaker? No, I'm here, I'll do it. Yeah, so I like to fill it about that full if you have a shaker. Again, you could do this. You can't really see it, the light's dark, but there you go. It's, it's about, about a quarter of the way yeah, full. Yeah, about a quarter of the way in the shaker. Um, and you could do this with uh, two glasses, just dumping them back and forth if you don't have a shaker. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jane. Um, Jane just walked by, that's my son. Um, and I need vodka, please. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, so it's a, how I do it is a four count, a three count, and a two count. Uh, we typically use Rose's Lime Juice at the bar I work at, but today I'm going to use simple syrup and fresh lime. Um, number one, it tastes better, and number two, I don't, I don't have Rose's Lime. So we're working with what we got. Not the four count. And then we're going to do triple sec. We're going to do a three count, so four, three, two. And that's the two count of the triple sec or three count, I'm sorry, my bad. Um, and then I'm gonna do um, a two count of this and I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lime. One, two, that kind of got a little clogged sugar. Um, that's simple syrup, which we told you guys how to make a few episodes ago. I don't even remember at this point. They're all, all it is running together. And then I'm gonna squeeze a lime in there. And you know, um, if I increase the recipe, like let's say I was gonna make two shots, one for me and one for Matt, um, I would probably increase it seven, seven, six-ish. Uh, actually, I'd probably do seven, five, and three. It's probably what I do. Cause you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna keep that like boozy taste along with that, that fresh lime and that um, like little bit of sweet, just a hint of sweet. And then you're gonna shake it. And you wanna shake it real good. So I like to make my kamikazes so that there's little ice chips floating in the top and it's nice and cloudy. Um, I don't have the right ice for that because it's just coming out of my refrigerator, but it should still be cloudy and delicious. All right, I think that's good. You know, let all that, you know, drip into the those extras. And then we're gonna take our strainer, because we're being proper, and strain it into our little glass. Ooh, that's a big one. You know, good thing you brought up, we're working with what we got. It's, you know, with what's going on right now, a lot of people, we're, if you have, like we said before, if you have, take pictures of what's in your cabinets, we'll work with what you got and try and teach you what we can. Absolutely. True, that's true. Absolutely. So I'm going to give this a little taste. Mm. Actually, it could be a little bit more sour. Yeah. So maybe next time I would have used uh, two slices of lime instead of one. I like mine tart. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more of the lime. We'll just squeeze it directly in there. And it's really good, though. It's no wonder that people like to, to break up, like, the, the bottled beers or the Sierra Nevadas and everything that they're drinking and, and have a little shot with, like, a round of three people or something like that with this because it kind of mixes with a lot of different things. It has its own unique flavor to it. Is it better now? Yeah. Yeah? Better with that extra lime. And this is a good point to, to point out to all of you is when you're making these drinks and everything you can always add more liquor you can always add more lime juice and things like that but you can't really take things out of a drink it's a little bit harder to do that so so start off smaller like if you think that you're going to be pouring too much in, in the um of the liquor or something like that you could start off a little lower it might look not like a lot when you first start off but as you start to build on those other ingredients things really Start the ice starts to melt and yeah. stuff like that, and it turns out to be more than what you 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 originally thought you were bargaining for. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, I just totally blocked that. That's okay. Um, yeah. So there you go. There you have it. You've got the orange tic tac. You got the pink taco, pink kitty, pink other thing, whatever you want to call it. You guys decide what you're comfortable with. Um, and then you've got your kamikaze. So hopefully my regulars, after they learn how to make these, they'll come in to have me make them because I hear mine are pretty tasty. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, if anyone's feeling generous and would like to make a donation to help fund more ingredients and videos, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, you can Venmo us at Allison-Grass. Also, please feel free to like and share any and all of our videos, okay? Check us out on YouTube. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Board Bartenders.
Oh, and next week, uh, we're going to be starting to share our live videos on our Board Bartenders page on Facebook. So if you want to continue watching these live and you want to continue uh, participating in this process, please go follow and like our page on Facebook, Board Bartenders, um, two capital Bs. And don't forget to post those pictures of yourself and your drinks either after this video or on Friday when we do our next, uh, our next one. Post those in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for your continued participation and support. You have no idea what it means to us. Seriously, guys, like we couldn't do this without you. Without viewers, we'd be just sitting here drinking together. Well, I mean, you know, and you know, which wouldn't be too, you know, for anyway, cheers. <laughs> cheers, Allison. Cheers.